I keep getting questions about contacting lawmakers about this whole TikTok ban thing. So this video is going to explain that process and get you smart on it so you can actually make an impact. So I'm gonna start by saying there's work involved here. You're gonna have to actually do something. Bitching in a comment section, making a video that goes viral, or signing some generic petition online is a waste of your time. It won't change anything. I have been telling you for years, if you don't like a law, if you don't like the way your lawmaker is voting or behaving, it's on you, the constituent, to do something. If you really feel strongly about something, let's take TikTok for example, you need to pick up the phone and call your lawmakers, not someone else's, yours, the one who represents you. Each one of you who lives in the United States has at least one house representative in your area and two senators in your state. So how do you find them? It's a simple two-step process. Step one, go to find your representative on house.gov and enter your zip code. Your elected officials' names will pop up. And to find your senators, go to the contact your senator section on senator.gov. You can search by state. You'll find your representatives and senators' Washington, D.C. office info there. But let's go a step further. Fun fact, your congressperson has an office and a staff in your area, and your senator may too. So step two, once you know their name, go to their website. Their local contact info is right there. Find them call them, write them letters, write emails, show up to their local events. They have them all the time. Talk to them like human beings. Get your friends and family who are also their constituents and live in their district to also get involved. Being violent or destructive will only hurt your position. Don't do that. You're making it worse. I know you're going to say, but they don't listen. You're wrong. They will, especially if a lot of their constituents are saying the same thing. They don't care if constituents from other parts of the country tell them something. They care if their constituents tell them something. You have to understand, politicians are very simple. They want one thing, to keep their job. And there's only two ways they can do that. Keep their constituents happy or hope that their constituents aren't paying attention. And I know you guys pay attention. 